Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do, um, we're taking a break. I still have three more blocks on the red and green, that's not red, blue and green quilt. But we're gonna take a break from that and we're gonna do this. I just got this, um, I ordered it from Amazon. It just, it says quilting template, novelty style. I can link it if y'all are interested. Um, but it is just these four pieces. And I took some of my leftover Christmas fabric and I did, it was two fat quarter bundles or it might've been one big one. And I cut out from each fabric, I cut out a one and then I cut out a two and, and then I've just put them together randomly, but I'm going to do this one with you. So what you just, yeah, you just lay it down and it's got your uh, seam allowance already in it. So we're just going to match up our two and our three here. These did come with a little film on it. I've read some of the reviews and it said they were, theirs came scratched, which mine did. But once you remove the film, the scratches were just on the film. So uh, if you order them, maybe just take that into account. And it also said, some of them said how the seams didn't match up, but they're not wrong. So you can see right there how this goes just a hair out. I don't know if you can see it or not put on that one there you go so see how it's just a hair out so really all I did was um, once I cut them I lined up I lined up this edge I think no I lined up this edge because then when I go my quarter inch down and I fold it up it does well if you do it right it does line right up but this one's out just a little, but we can trim that off. It's nothing really that I would return them for. So we're just going to go and, or maybe I did that. That's what I did. I lined this point up with this point. And I left that little thing poking out. So just right there. And we're going to sew that straight down. But just, I did it with the little point out and it seemed to work just fine for me. And I, well, I think that's what I did. This was a couple days ago, so let's try it. And if it doesn't work, we'll just rip the seam out and start over. I'm also going to do these. These are for the red and the red and why do I keep saying red? The green and blue quilt, green, white, and blue. So I'm for my border and my cornerstones on it and I need a few more of them sewn up so I'm just going to do these instead of the starter and stopper so if you're wondering what these pieces are for now you know so let's head back over here maybe there we go where did I put my pressing mat so I'm going to stack these up just to get them out of my way a little bit and then I'll iron this open so, see, I knew I was wrong. I knew I was wrong. That's okay, though, because we're just going to start over. I haven't felt good today, which is why this video is going up late. But really, I could have waited, but I wanted to get it done. Well, maybe. I don't know. This seam ripper doesn't seem to work like my other one did. It always gets caught. A little ways in. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or there we go. So I was wrong. Well I was right the first time rather. We're gonna line it up with this point is going to be with the edge of the fabric. So there's gonna be a point hanging over on this side and I think that's what they did. I think they just when they cut the the thing the templates maybe they just did it wrong but it's it's fine if it, I mean if it bothers you I wouldn't buy them but it doesn't really bother me I can make it work but also I could have just made these same things out of cardboard I guess so I don't know save myself the money maybe 
And I do only have one more here to sew up, so I guess I will be using starters, enders, stoppers, whatever you want to call them. I may have just clipped that one. Whatever. Let's go back. Now, if we iron it open, it lines up perfectly on both sides. I thought that's what I did, but you know, like I said, I wasn't feeling very well today, and it's been a few days since I did that. Get those off of there. Now, we're going to take this one. So we've done two and three. Now we're going to take four. Now you could, and I may go back and do it, but you could do a decorative stitch across there. I may go back and do it, but also I may not. I don't really know. See, now this one, that's the only one. I Now, like I said, I think they just cut the notch on the wrong side. So now you're just going to, this one lines up perfectly. So you're just going to lay it straight down there. There it is. And we're going to sew back down through. Should have pinned it, but it's okay. I'm going to put these together. I think I've got eight or ten blocks. I'm really not sure. I'm not sure how many I made, but I think I'm going to put them together in two rows and make it a table runner. But we'll see. So now we're just going to iron it open. See how that one lined up beautifully. And then this one also it goes a little over, but we're just going to line it up as best we can. And I'm going to pin it. The last one slipped on me, so we'll just put a couple pins in it. Head back over and sew it up. Open. Oh, I should probably cut that off first. And there it is. It's beautiful. Let me move these out of the way. Put them back in this box. I do have two other sets of those that I could do videos on. It's really the same thing, just um different cuts. So I'll show you what I've done here. There's the one we just did. And like I said, I just went through each fabric is in each one of the spots. What is that? Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I have nine. So I have one extra. But then you can lay them out. Now you could have done them all the same. And you can lay them out. You could turn them. And then this middle piece, like if you did that all in the same fabric or two opposites, it would form a, a pattern. Or you could turn it with this one in the middle. I'll get it. Give me a minute. And it forms a different pattern. So maybe I'll just do them two and do a table topper, but I'll probably do like a, a table runner and I'll just have one extra really, but... So really, it just depends on where you lay it because they're all different shapes. 
So it'll give you a different style. And if you do the decorative stitch, it'll add more flair to it. So, well, I wouldn't put those two together, but you know, you get the picture. Like I could move it there and then, well, see, then there they're touching, but you know, you get the picture. All right, well, I guess that's it for the day. I'm going to pile these back up, and you all have a, a great day, and let me know what you think. I'll see you all next time.